Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Mike with the Outdoor Project, and today I wanted to show you the Holtzman Gorilla Survival Knife. I thought it was really cool. It's got a nice compact size. The blade's 1095 carbon steel. It came with a matching ferro rod and striker, G10 orange liners. It's got a tech lock. And it came in a really nice box. It's very well protected in transit. It's got a tool for the Kydex. And you could, they have a website, but they also sell most of their stuff on Amazon. And they sell other stuff, not just knives. But I thought the knife was really cool. They have another one, I believe in stainless steel, but I like the blade on this one better. It is 1095 carbon steel. It's got a really comfortable little handle. It's a very stout little compact knife, eighth inch thick. Four inch blade, 8.6 inches overall. It's got real mild jimping. I really like the liners. I like black with orange liners or black with red liners. I like when the liners stand out. It's got a real Kydex sheath. The shock cord didn't come on there. I put the shock cord on there. It fits really tight, and that's a good thing because when they wear down, you still want it to be able to fit without bouncing all around. And a nice little striker that matches everything. It's a good quality little ferro rod. Gotta find a sweet spot in a striker. Definitely this side. It's a good quality ferro rod when they spark like that and continue to spark. But when you wear those down, you still want it to fit in there nice. It's got a nice little leather strap that holds the knife in place. You can switch the tech lock if you want. You can move it so it fits. You better um, you can adjust them a little bit on the inside. There's two pieces that come out if you have a wider belt so it doesn't lag or bounce around. There's a grommet hole there. I'd get a pouch and probably attach a pouch to that down the road and put a ranger band on it so I could fit more on it. Put a little survival kit on it, but that's just my thing. That's just what I do with everything. I had a really bad accident a few months back and I fell from about the height of a telephone pole and I really severely injured myself. I was in the hospital for about a week. Um, I shattered my ankle and my foot in about 25 places. I broke this wrist, my dominant wrist, the wrist I cut with in seven or eight places and I dislocated my foot like three inches out of place and it had to get pulled back into place by orthopedic surgeons. I had to go from one hospital to another because the first hospital couldn't even take care of my injuries. They were so bad. Um, my wrist was dislocated about a half inch out of place. That's not too bad, but I was still very weak. So because of that, I've been in search of a knife that's been very comfortable for me since this happened and I really haven't had too much pain in my wrist with this handle it's done me well and at times I've used it so far
definitely does a really nice job. And because it is 1095, that's why it has the coating on it, because 1095 likes to rust when it gets wet. And it's almost impossible to keep from rusting unless you constantly treat it. Well, friends, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm Mike with the Outdoor Project. I have a lot of upcoming videos. Um, getting ready to start a log cabin build series. I'm going to be building a log cabin from scratch with all traditional woodworking tools. And it's a series I wanted to start a long time ago, but I got hurt, so I had to wait until I was better. And if you want to follow that series, just subscribe to my channel. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm going to go into great detail and uh, build a log cabin. So... I hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, friends, thanks for watching.